What's up, Cancer? It's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well. So before we get started with our May 2018 general and or love forecast for you guys, I would like to say a gigantic thank you to each and every one of you um, who have watched our, the videos, subscribed to the channel, gotten personal readings, contacted me on Instagram or any other platform. Um, thank you so much. This month marks my one-year anniversary with this channel. Um, the amount of support and love and just everything has been tremendous. It has been life-changing for me and my daughter, so thank you so very much for everything that you do. Um, I truly, truly do appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Okay, Cancer, let's get into it. You guys ready? <laughs> all right, May 2018, general and or love for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know in the month of May 2018? Right, advice, guidance, general insight for Cancer, please spread it for the month of May. Okay, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my spreads, it's a nine card spread. So I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. Okay, I also clarify with the after tarot and I pull a romance angel oracle card to get some guidance and advice on your love lives. Okay, let's do this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Ooh, cancer. Emperor reverse at the bottom of the deck. What? Okay, so you guys are dealing with an Aries <clears throat> or a Taurus. Um, that's acting a fool, straight up fool, okay? Others of you are dealing with someone who is being very controlling and perhaps narcissistic at the same time, okay? person that only cares about themselves and their feelings and is not really putting forward a lot of um, time, effort, energy, or love into you or a relationship. This could be anybody, though. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. This could be a boss, a friend, a parent, a coworker, your cousin, you know, your second cousin, your third cousin your fourth cousin twice removed, I don't know. But there's somebody in your life that uh, seems to be just overbearing, controlling, and just really, really only cares about themselves. They cannot take it upon themselves to care about anybody else right now, okay? The recent past, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords reversed, Five of Pentacles, all right? Some of you guys straight up decided to leave a relationship or some other matter in your life to start something new, okay? You might have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? We do have a lot of swords up there, but Ace of Swords is a victorious new beginning, okay? You walked away. You were like, I'm done. It could have been done with this narcissist up here, okay? Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, it was a long time coming. Either you found out about a third-party situation, Three of Swords reversed, or you had gotten to the point, Cancer, where you were just like, I've been through so much hurt already. I'm not even heartbroken anymore. This is actually a relief to leave and walk away, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you might have experienced some financial difficulties. This is the card of like poverty, of not having enough money to make ends meet. Others of you, it's being left out in the cold. Or perhaps it's the person that you left feeling now regretful and remorseful that they didn't take better care of their relationship, okay? Could be possible. All right, either you feeling that way or them feeling that way, okay? Going into your present, uh, we have the Four of Swords, the Chariot, your card, right in the middle of your reading. That's great, and it's upright. And then the Page of Swords reversed. Four of Swords, some of you guys were, like, exhausted. After all of this drain, strain, and mental energy expanded, you were just like, I'm done. I need a break. I need to take a rest. I need to just lie here for a minute. Some of you guys have retreated from communicating with someone or it could have been communication at all I mean this could be the card of like deleting social media blocking people some of you just needed a break you know you decided for once you were going to start taking care of yourself a little bit and that's what you started doing okay now this rest phase obviously is very good for you because then you show up in the upright right in the middle of your reading as the chariot okay forward movement guys Moving on with your life. Maybe you needed to take a second to get your finances back in order after some sort of breakup. Maybe mend your heart a little bit or just 
you know, get, get your mind right, you know, and then you move forward positively with the chariot. Some of you guys are actually physically moving, traveling, okay? So, um, others of you might be, it's random, but it comes up with vehicles, okay? So you might have gotten a new car, you might be thinking about buying a new car, something like that. Remember, this is very general, so, you know, hundreds of people watch it, thousands of people watch it, so it'll be, it'll resonate with some people and, and not others, the car thing. <laughs> All right, um, next card you have in your present, Page of Swords reversed, womp womp. This is gossip, this is rumors, this is drama, drama llama. okay, especially as it relates to social media or the internet. Um, you could also have somebody in your life who is very immature. Again, we've got a lot of air energy, guys. Um, I mean, all of the signs show up here, but I do see air prevalently, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but what I'm seeing here is, um, you know, either you're on the recipient end of the receiving end of some sort of gossip or rumor mill. Okay, somebody's coming with to you with this type of discussion or information, or you guys are doing this. Okay, so if you're talking smack about somebody because maybe you broke up with them and you're mad and you're finally ready to reveal your secrets to the world and how ugly and awful and narcissistic they were, be careful. <laughs> All right. Because um, don't be that guy on Facebook. Nobody likes that guy, right? That's who they start talking shit about. So just be careful what you do. Don't post stuff on social media if you're upset or angry or if you're feeling vengeful because that can backfire on you. We'll clarify this, but some of you guys might be dealing with a kid too, a child of yours or a child in the family um, who maybe has told you some fibs or lies or is acting up in some other way, especially if they're an air sign. Okay, going into your near future. So... Here's my take on it, Cancer. You've got the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, Page of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, and the King of Wands reversed, okay? I'm going to venture to say that whoever the hell you cut out back here and cut off of communication, now it's like they come crawling back, okay? I'm just saying, it's like, I'm sorry, and you're like, oh, I don't believe you for a damn second, you know? Like, you're like, get the hell out of here. Um, we'll clarify it, but this could be somebody you shared a home or family life with. This could also be somebody that owes you money and has told you time and time again they are going to pay you back and has not paid you back, okay? Or maybe they paid you back like $10 out of the 10000 they owe you, something like that. Real ridiculous, okay? Earth sign energy to Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, the next card is the King of Wands reverse. So Cancer, be careful you're not taking on this energy. He's an asshole. Um, this person loses his, their temper. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, but also uh, somebody who flies off the handle, okay? So be careful you don't let somebody push you to the point, especially if they're gossiping about you and you get you get wind of it, something like that. This could be an old you know, lover. This could be a water sign, but you've got page, page, reverse, reverse. It's like I, I sense this like dishonest communication, you know, coming in. Hopefully it's not about you or coming from you. But again, I just feel like you're going to be in some way or another um, involved in that this month of May. So please be careful not to, you know, spread rumors or anything like that. But if you are receiving that information in, take it with a grain of salt. You may want to go ahead and four swords this person and that person and just cut them off for a little while um, until they get their act together because I don't feel like what is coming through with regard to that communication is honest or true, okay? Let's clarify. So what is the Ace of Swords all about for Cancer? What is the Ace of Swords all about for Cancer? What is this Ace of Swords? Okay. Strength. Wow. Some of you guys uh, either, you know, this could be a new beginning with a Leo person. Others of you, it's a new beginning with a soulmate because, look, the infinity symbol is on top of her head, Okay. Some of you guys, it just you, it took all of your inner strength to start that new beginning, to move forward into something new, to get rid of the, you know, whatever was holding you down before. Ditch the narcissist. All right. Three, I've said narcissist like three times already. I'll stop saying it. Three, uh, three of swords reversed. What is the three of swords reversed? Page of swords. Okay. And they're upright. So again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy you guys are dealing with. Um, but again, you may hear something about somebody um, that you've dealt with in the past and you don't even care because you're so over it. You're so over it. Like you have removed yourself entirely emotionally from that situation. You're just like, well, sorry about their luck. That sucks. You know, but you don't, it's communication that comes in that it's like, it's almost trying to hurt you, but, but you're so 
like over it that you don't even care. Um, five of Pentacles upright. Why is the Five of Pentacles upright for Cancer? Knight of Swords reverse. See, they come in as a page, right? Ooh, message, message, message. Talk, 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 right? And then when you leave them out in the cold, essentially, don't pay them any mind, all right? They turn into this Knight of Swords reverse who's a maniac. <laughs> okay. Like I said, y'all got air all over the place, too. But um, they, they do. I mean, they essentially lose their temper with you, or maybe you're losing your temper with somebody else. The Knight is communication. It is swords, okay? It's a quick-moving Knight, too. Um, this could be somebody also, though, that if you had a new start with the Ace of Swords, it's somebody that leaves as quickly as they come in, okay? Um, that would have already happened, though, or would be happening right now, so I wouldn't worry too much about that energy. Um, just something to keep in mind, all right, if you are dealing especially with air signs. All right, Four of Swords. What's going on with the Four of Swords? Temperance. Exactly. Taking a break so you can heal. This is all about healing, and this is also about divine guidance, okay? Listening to your angels, listening to your spirit guides, really taking time to take a time out from this crazy situation that you just went through and gather your thoughts, heal from it, and move forward positively with the chariot here. So why is the chariot here? Knight of Pentacles reversed. So what I see is the Knight of Pentacles um, brings in either a message of money or finances or career or possibly an earth sign person. doesn't have to be. It's, it's an offer, but it's he's the slowest moving knight in the deck, okay? Now, the way I read him when he's reversed is that it's now coming in faster, right? So things start to pick up. The, the momentum starts to pick up. For some of you guys, money starts to come in this month, and you're like, yes, finally. You've been wait it's something you've been waiting on for a long time. Others of you, it's a message you've been waiting on, and it's been taking forever. Like just anything, anything you can think of, and you've been so annoyed with it because you're like, oh, my gosh, this is never going to happen, you know? That type of thing. But it does start to move forward, especially with the chariot there. That is forward positive movement, okay? Um, page of Swords reversed. We had a jumper. What was that? Okay, Ace of Wands. Hmm, interesting. We got fire now. This person could be bringing in a message that somebody that you were dealing with is now involved with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This could be a fire sign that is being dishonest to you, okay? Not Or maybe spreading rumors, okay, about you or to you, about somebody else. Um, also, though, be careful, Cancer. I'm going to give you this message, okay? Ace of Wands can indicate a passionate new beginning, fiery, passionate new beginning, okay? Also indicates sex, all right? And Page of Swords reversed is somebody not being truthful. So don't let anybody lie or tell you lies to get into your pants. Be careful of that, okay? Page of Cups reversed. Why is the Page of Cups reversed? Knight of Wands reversed. Mm hmm All right. So it's either that you stop this person from coming in because you realize they're not being honest with their offer here, with their messages. Okay, so you just put, a, you know, you put the brakes on a situation, especially fire. Um, or, you know, I mean, you are water, page of swords reverse. You tr maybe could have tried to reconcile as possible or tried to connect with a fire sign and they did not accept the offer, okay? Something like that. You could have had a falling out with a fire sign too. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, Ten of Pentacles reversed. I cannot believe. You guys need to be real careful. This Emperor reverse came out again, okay, Cancer? Please. I don't even know what I'm going to call this because you, you guys really need to watch this video. Please be careful. Nobody is stealing from you. <laughs> all right. Emperor Reverse. We all know he's a jerk. Okay. He don't care about nobody or nothing but himself. And Ten of Pentacles Reverse. Either that's somebody in your home disrupting your home life or it could be somebody that's like willfully robbing you blind right before you're right underneath your nose and you may not even realize it. Okay. Which then throws you into a tailspin with the King of Wands Reverse or it's the same person. You may realize it, and then, because you you turn down their offer, you know, then they really get mad. Start going after the finances. Oh, low. Okay, so King of Wands reverse, Nine of Cups. For some of you guys, this is the best thing that could have happened to you, is getting rid of this person who was behaving in that manner. 
your wishes are being fulfilled going forward because of it. Others of you, it's somebody that drinks a lot, okay? Overindulges in things, okay? But and it, it can go either way. You either get rid of a toxic situation and it's like the best thing that ever happened to you. It opens up all these doors for you going forward or um, you're dealing with somebody who overindulges, okay? Let's um, pull a romance card for you cancers. Whoa. What is this one? It flipped. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Well, Cancer, I mean, you know, like I said, some of you guys do have some passion going on. Woo -woo. All right, just be careful. Um, others of you are going to feel so relieved after, after getting yourself out of this toxic situation that you're going to be like, yes, I am finally passionate about life again. I can enjoy the things I like. I can enjoy living my life. I don't have to worry about dealing with this emperor reversed. Comes up twice. Controlling, crazy person, right? All good, okay? Um, all right, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Um, thank you all again for your support over the last year. It's been amazing, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.